what's the uh, oh that's on nullification this Saturday right? nullification yeah there's a uh, thing we're having down at the Pitt Union right Pitt Student Union down in um, Oakland yeah we're going to be showing if somebody them. could go down there with a camera this week uh, because that's on Saturday night we're going to be having a dinner and a movie here mm -hmm. so Somebody can go down there. Yeah, I don't have a camera. Or somebody, oh, we'll get you a camera. Yeah. Somebody wants to be down with you. Take Molina with you. And the bullhorn. Here. And the bullhorn. And the hat. <laughs> just look at the. Yeah, I just got to bring it uh, here. Put, put yeah. this Anyway, in since what I was saying before, since we cover so much and there's so many issues, I think we should try to focus on uh, the most important ones. So. We're going to go around the room and and um, just just tell us what you think is most important, the, the most important issues we should be focusing on, and, and why. Okay, John. Loaded question. You're on, Jack. I started that way. <laughs> you want to go that way? <laughs> Anybody ready? We, we don't have to go. You, you ready? Start to go? With me. No. Always ready. Okay. Uh, the Where's one you? one video that I I, I watched um, with Obamacare was excellent. You know, that was great. And again, that obviously that's a major issue and thing coming up. With Dr. Cross, yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah was, I have Obamacare. That was great. Well, you know, that's a part of Agenda 21, Obamacare. Well, the other Agenda 21... That's uh, all related. That's... The other video with, with um, Agenda 21, you couldn't even understand it because Wes Long talks it fast, and it's like, if you can't understand what he's saying... Yeah. Why, why, why waste Alex Jones' time? But Obamacare was excellent. Okay. That's one of the best videos that, that I've watched out of the six so far. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we'll definitely focus on uh, focus on Obamacare because, like you said, it's it's now. It's coming upon us. It's now right. and and upcoming. Josh, you're right. Josh, you're up. Josh. <laughs> Josh. Um, Say something. Get a patrol. <laughs> Say help, help somebody. Help some. Um, I don't know. It's kind of putting me on the spot here. Maybe uh, somebody else want to go first? Second. <laughs> Jim. I wanted. Jim. I thought we wanted to get that some thought. Go ahead. <clears throat> set the stage in that. What we what our what our goal is in that. We're going to use original. Uh, video, it has to be original, original video material. Right. right. Does it only have to be video? Right. I mean. Uh, is it's a film, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Just want to, to make sure. Yeah. People yeah. see it. Uh, it has to be related to True Central, some work that we've done, right? Yeah. I mean, would you? The theme of the the theme of the the film has to uh, promote freedom and liberty and expose tyranny and oppression. So the theme of the That's theme, what we do here every day. Yeah, so the theme of the, the, the video is going to be the globalists are coming. <clears throat> right, and and Truth Central is here to wake people up to that. So if you can lump Obamacare, the Georgia Guidestones, and the stuff somehow into one united or connected issue, not, not that we're sporadic, we have Obamacare, population control, um, abortion, if we could somehow tie these together, you know, with our theme, have a united, uh, a united theme through the whole thing. Not, not that it seems like we're, you know, picking this, picking, you know, trying to tie it all together somehow and get it into a video form. You know, like show an abortion, there's Georgia Guidestones, abortion clinic, Obamacare, death panels. Something, yeah. Something like something that effect. But well, we've had speakers speak on virtually all that stuff. So we just have to pull out the clips, you know. Time together, how they're what, all related. What, what I thought about doing is is interviewing the people that didn't know anything when they came here. Okay, like Bill, uh, Brenda, Mary that were here the other day, uh, Jeanette. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a bunch that they keep coming back. You know, you know, seeking more information. Yeah, I can't. I would like to get those people that were afraid to come in. They come in now? No, no, they're oh. afraid to come in. Just to oh. say, yeah. we don't. What's the deal? You take know? the camera over to the laundromat where they hide <laughs> yeah. I see one guy, when I come over, I said, you guys want to come over? Oh, he grabbed the magazine, it was upside down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm reading this. 
Oh, are you? Yeah. No, I, I think as an illustration that there's people yeah. that are still uh, asleep. Oh, I mean, that oh. they're even afraid to come over. But, but you know what? I, I, pull, I yeah. pulled up, okay? And people have been out there, even sitting in the chairs out there, watching Alex on the TV out there or whatever. And when I pull up, they, they run into the laundromat. You know, like I busted them, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. I said, you can come on in. What are you, where are you going? No, no, I got laundry in here. You know what I mean? I, you know, I'm not the principal. You didn't get caught doing anything. Yeah, there's a lot of men and women. That, it's like Nietzsche said. It's not so much that men are liars as much as they want to be lied to. Too. They're addicted to being liars. Yeah, they have a willful ignorance. The ignorance right. they have in the Bible. Willful. Right. I mean, actually, Alex talks about that a lot. Willful, yeah. willful ignorance. I gave one of these videos on 911 to a guy at work. <clears throat> I couldn't be coming the next day. I said, did you watch it? He yeah. had every reason why that, that video wasn't real. I gave it to one girl. She goes to uh, MIT, the university. Uh -huh. And uh, she actually uh, traced on a blog, find out who made it. With, with the, she said, oh, is, that guy's a Republican. She actually traced Don the roots of that the, the video. She tr actually looked up the people that made it. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. She was a very intelligent girl. We gotta get her over there. She's, I don't know if she's lefty or what. She, she's, hey, yeah. We should react to her. She's, she's on to all the stuff, like, she's more left of center. That's the only thing that kind of bothered me. Yeah, well, maybe we can bring her around. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she's so, on to We agree uh, on freedom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, she agree with you on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But she, okay. She's sort of a... Her I mean, mom and dad were... These leftists have to see where the big government's going. Yeah. You know? Look, remember Alex Jones I mean, when he was interviewed? Are they in a coma or what? I, I don't yeah. get it. I, th I think that's kind of what they want. The, the, you ever watch that Link TV? They're, they're sort of pushing... Well, I don't watch television. Well, I mean... Glad we're me on that. I, I think the left wants a communist world order. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh, they, yeah. I don't so think they'd get along too good with us. There's no doubt. Look at that. Uh, Cleon Skousen's book, The Naked Communist. We got uh, footnotes on it. 45 Goals of Communism. He wrote that, I think, in the 40s. Every one of them were coming to run. Progressive income tax. Communism didn't go in. We didn't defeat communism. It just went under the yeah. And it came here to the United States. Mm -hmm. right. I like to. I was laughing, you know, and, and, and feeling different uh, emotions when uh, com communism supposedly fell. All, all that you could see in the newspapers was some mangled, uh, corrugated steel with a guy standing up on the top of it with a, a fire burning in the background. He's holding a rifle. Yeah. And that was supposed to be the overthrow of communism. Yeah. It was so ridiculous. And uh, I couldn't believe that the country Stage. bought it. Yeah. They, Oh, they're drinking the Kool-Aid. I was uh, I was at a, a church meeting over at the Mennonite camp, the Mennonite church camp, and uh, they were having a special meeting, you know, for and they had the three guys from Russia there to talk about Jesus. I guess is what they were talking about was the theme of the the and. Uh, so they were talking about the uh, about communism. These three guys from Russia were talking about communism in, in Russia. And it was an American Mennonite that corrected them and told them that communism fell. And I'm watching an American correcting these three guys that got out of Russia about communism. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to get sidetracked here, but I, I honestly believe that uh, America could be a nuclear wasteland and the world's going to go on for another God knows how long. But I, I think the forces behind all this stuff is diabolical. Oh, there's no doubt. No I mean, question. Uh, the evil is coming from so somewhere down. Down. Right. Well, they control the flow of information. They control the media. Control all the, all the governments. Academia. The, the financial situation. Yeah. I mean, they've got, they've got it all. And there are, you know, all these, all the, I want, I want oh, before I forget, there's uh, something new that was revealed to me. It's called the One People's Private, or no, Public Trust. One People's Public Trust. OPPT. Did you look at the video I sent you? No? no? I missed that one. Well, anyway, this group has essentially, using UCC, Uniform Commercial Code of, of the world, okay? It's an international code that, they, that, that the corporations follow. They have to do this to, to do business. 
the United States Corporation is, is the umbrella of Australia. Um, there's 10 countries. Anyway, they have been essentially foreclosed on. They have no authority. They never did, being a corporate, they're all corporations. But they come disguised as a government. The Fed. The Federal Reserve. Right, exactly. They, I got a they, question. They, they come. Yes. D didn't uh, didn't someone, didn't a certain country this past summer kick out a bunch of uh, didn't they prosecute a bunch Iceland. of Rothschild bankers? Uh, Iceland. Iceland. Well, this just fell into my lap recently. One of my researchers uh, emailed me last week, and I wanted to do a research on it. That this is a real deal. I mean, these people. This it all started. Here's how it started. This guy in Australia wanted to import a Corvette into Australia. He wanted to buy this Corvette. You can move over. Well, you. this started a myriad of shakedowns, you know, uh, fees and all this. So he looked into this, and it dawned on him one day, that I gotta, I gotta see who I'm dealing with here. They have to prove that they have the authority to shake me down like this. And they didn't. They didn't have the authority. Wow. They were a, they were a corporation under the United States Corporation. They had no authority to do this. But anyway, this is how this this one people's uh, public trust got started. And I'll tell you what, it is. It, they're, they're starting to wake people up. This woman, and, uh, I forget what her name is. She's she's one of the ones that started the trust. But they hold them. The world's population in, in equity. Everybody can do this. Everything, all the all the forms are online. Uh, if you're being foreclosed on, she purposely let her home go into foreclosure. What she? What's that? Would she let go into foreclosure? Her home. Oh, oh I, don't know. I think she said home. Now she was a former prosecutor, and she went into court, okay, and served notice. These people had to show their authority uh, that they could do what they're doing, and, and they couldn't. Well, how do they, what do they so there's there's this um, courtesy notice that they put up when you you can't just you, can, you know, see here's what happens people are so indoctrinated and so cowered down to the the perceived powers okay but they're perceived powers it's like the United States Corporation it only has um, a ten miles uh, square square mile radius in Washington, D.C. That's the corporation. They have no authority outside that area. None. The reason they get authority is when you contract with them. Your, your driver's license, when you sign that, and you'll notice everything's in capital letters. That's your corporate fiction. That's how they're allowed to shake you down. That's, That's a straw man. With your birth certificate, yeah, your, yeah, your birth certificate, yeah. your driver's certificate. license. That, like that, that yeah, you contracted with them. But they've done this by deception. Yeah, they do legally. Right, they've done it by dece deception. It's, it's, they haven't had full disclosure. That's like the banks when you go get a loan. Where are you with collateral? Right, when you go get a loan at the bank, they, they, don't, uh, they don't lend you anything. No. Oh, it's all credit. It's all credit. It's all debt and credit. But nothing comes off their uh, balance sheet. When they, you come in for a loan for $10,000 or $100,000, nothing comes off. Nothing comes off. It's so all fraud. Basically, oh, they're, they're constantly insufficient funds. When they when they called security on me last week, at the, over a dollar seventy five, they charged me uh, thirty six dollars. I couldn't get to the bank because I was going snug. And uh, I'm like, you're you're charging me thirty six dollars for insufficient funds, and you're lying to me because I know you have the power to to uh, uh, dismiss this uh, fee. And um, he said, oh, only only if it's bank error. I said, I know that's a lie. You have the power to do this. You know? But anyway, you're charging me $36 for insufficient funds. You people are always insufficient. You never have enough deposit to cover your depositors. If 10% of your customers come in, you wouldn't have the money. So you're always insufficient. I should be charging you. So I started getting a little loud and he called security. Oh, what they do? Uh, he walked me to the door. <laughs> Dollar bank. Good for you, man. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a film that. Uh, uh, yeah, film really. Film that that someone but I wanted to go outside and get DVDs and hand them to everybody in the bank. But yeah, I prayed and let it go. I think you mentioned Mickey Paletta. 
Yeah. Is there any way we could put him into this? In, in a we have Mickey in. He's we have, in. Have, we have, he spoke here, remember? Yeah. You don't remember? Yeah, he, was, he spoke We got Chip Gallo speaking on the Second Amendment. We got Mickey. Then Hagen's Dr. Right. Cross speaking on Obamacare. Hagen. Hagen. We have a lot of good clips. Hey, can it's you just put it all together. Could you splice something from the other the DVDs you got later on here? It has to be all original uh, stuff that you made. You stuff that we created. It. Yeah. You can't create what no, from. from. No. We, it has to be all new new material. Did That's you want to say that you could have some older content? Uh, maybe, yeah. You probably want to shy away from that. Yeah. Or avoid it as possible. But this, o I want everybody to take a look at this. O-P-P-T. If, if you make sure I got your email, I'll send it out to you. Yeah, I got There's that. a lot of information. You sent it to me. Yeah. Did you look at it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Some of it. Some oh, that's right. And then I sent you some links yeah. that someone else sent me yeah. about it that I had gotten a while back. But there, this is why I think a lot of the banks that are getting exposed now, there's like 1,500 to 2,000 uh, bankers all over the world that have resigned. You don't resign from these jobs. I mean, oh. it's like a license to steal. You know, you don't just quit. Right. Well, they resign for families to be close to their family. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, go ahead. Okay, so, do we have enough footage right now? I mean, what are we doing here if we already have enough footage from the opening? Central opening. Yeah, but I mean, a lot I mean, of, is there something else? Yeah, but you have you have good footage, you have bad footage. This, yeah. this is the problem. I mean, you you have to differentiate good from bad, and yeah. what is good. If, if there's background noise, you can't have it. If, if right. you can't hear the speaker, you, it might be a great subject. If, if but if you can't hear it, right? Well, that's why I gave Bill. Bill went through like two or three. That's why I gave everybody a DVD say six to look at and pick out the stuff that we can use. But that's just going to be one part of the film. The other part, like I was saying, is interviewing the people that have come here and woke up. Okay. That, that have learned since they've been coming here. I'm looking for what new 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 work we have to do yet. What video work we this, have to add this issue to the here, footage that we already have. This issue here is <coughs> this one People's public trust is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So you want to put that in the film for us? Yeah, I want to get it in there uh, so we can all take a look at it, research it. I would really like to get uh, Jim Pacilio to take a look at it because that's his area of expertise. Oh, he knows a lot. Yeah. Oh, he's a sovereign. Yeah, he needs to he needs to take a look at that for us and maybe come down here and speak on it. You know. But it's, it's, it's legit. Now, they have a lot of government trolls or whatever making all these comments. Oh, this is BS and all that. Yeah, but it's not. And the press will back it's that not. up. What? See, when you start going after them, when they're exposed and you start going after them, you know, they have not, there's nothing they can do. You know, they can only start, they can start locking people up. And, Sooner or later, it still looks pretty shady, you know. Right. I was just uh, watching a video on YouTube. A fella, he designed a uh, he designed a thing that goes in your car with the spark plugs, and it uh, actually uh, takes the hydrogen out of the water, and, and so you can run your vehicle off of water. Yeah, right. And uh, and they uh, they offered him to buy it, and he wouldn't sell it. And uh, so he was he was uh, sitting in uh, uh, the Cracker Barrel, and he uh, he bought a he, he had a glass of cranberry juice. He took a a drink of and. He grabbed his throat and ran outside and started vomiting violently and he said they poisoned me and uh, they found out that he had uh, uranium poison. And he was with supposedly two, two Belgian investors were at the table really? with them. Okay. Oh really? Did this yes. just oh. recently happen? Okay. Oh I don't know the date but uh, Not too long ago. It was two, must, two. must have been relatively yeah, he had two uh, Belgian investors that, that said, told him, supposed investors that said they can uh, help build this. What thing. happened to them? Uh, they disappeared after. A they might have been the ones that slipped and in his dream. Yeah, because yeah, they they they, 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 got, they got minions everywhere. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're out there looking at this. I mean, they, 
what happens is when a righteous group and the Tea Party, any any freedom loving group, uh, grassroots group gets any traction, they infiltrate it and cause havoc. To do something, to commit some kind of crime or something. Like they infiltrated Alex Jones. Right. I mean, they, they, they compromised. That's what they do. I mean, that's. Put that in the movie. Listen, the powers, <laughs> the powers that should be able to go to any lengths to keep the power. That'll down. make it yeah. very good. Yes. They will go to any lengths. You know, they kill, they kill, they've been killing people before. These governments, perceived governments, corporations, have been whacking people for years. They got poison in the Yasser Arafat. He was in a compound. Oh, oh, yeah. He was in his own compound, guarded by his own men, and they got poison in him. They probably took some of that sweet stuff, uh, aspartame. What, uh, Bill, getting back to Obamacare, what did Dr. Cross say? I can't, I had been so long since I looked at that video. What did he say that really stuck out at you? Well, there was so much. Like I said, the, the video was excellent. You know? The only thing I really remember about how he, he, he was trying to get across is how convoluted it is. How, get, get, how, uh, how hard it is to understand yeah, because they keep... I, I got four pages of notes up there. Okay. To be exact. Yeah, there's okay, a lot in there. Throw. Great audio, great video. Yeah. What you looked at? Are you talking about when he was here? Yeah. Yeah. See, I didn't think it was very good quality because yeah. he was reading a lot. Yeah, he was reading a lot. Yeah, but again, you could hear it perfect. You could yeah. see it perfect compared to other because I did six videos so far. Right. But some of them, the background <laughs> noise, and then yeah. one, the guy talks so fast. And I mean, I'm right there with total silence. I had a hard time listening to what he's saying. You know, yeah. We obviously have to look professional rather than yeah. some ragtag outfit out of a garage or something. And then the speakers outside, I, there was cars driving by. We're going to have little, to do the best we can. Little kids screaming, and yeah. you, you can't have that. Yeah, there's still good stuff. Like, yeah. I mean, one, one I watch, it started out like zoomed out too far. Like, you could see a bunch of people's backs and heads. Yeah. But luckily, Molina zoomed it in after a couple minutes. Yeah. But, uh,. Pretty good. I, I want to interview Mark Safula on that 5-1-C-3 issue, so I need to borrow someone's cam Yeah, because I, I don't have one. Okay. Sarah. You guys going to, um, anybody going to interview me about the second term of drugs? Yeah, why don't you uh, write some questions down? Well, I really don't know what kind of questions. No? If you write the questions, you should have the answers. <laughs> we don't want to stump you. <laughs> it's not going to be hard. Okay, first question. Why do they call you serotonin? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. You have to keep your composure. How are we supposed to get to the second question? <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll work on that. Um, even, even like, like, just like you said with the newbies, as far as what have you learned yeah. in the last six months since you've been coming here? How, right. how have you woke right. up? Yeah. You know, how are you different today compared to six months ago? Jack, what, what, just by, I mean, <laughs> what issue really strikes uh, your spirit in a negative way the best? I mean, <laughs> that sounds, that sounds like, I mean, what, 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 what issue is the most effective when it comes to, like, I can't believe that? You know what I mean? Just, but then it's just the truth. basically learning the truth, I mean, with, with, the, the, I mean, there's just so many. I right, there's so many. I mean, I could go on and on until the cows came on, but I mean, just the chemtrails and, yeah. and fluoride and, and just how we're being poisoned, how everything's being jammed down your throat. Yeah. Eat it, you'll like it, and, and health, and it's just it's just overwhelming, you know. That, I have a new one on the chemtrails. Uh, I, I saw how how they were spraying. That's no, no, this is this is, no, uh, this is a brand they, new thirty six minute. they had it set up in the jet. Doctor David Spear. I don't know if any of you know. Uh, been here when he, he's he's been down. One of his big issues is uh, chemtrails, and he sent me something new about the methane gas that it's created. And they've really they painted themselves into a corner now where they have to keep spraying. You know what I mean? So why? It's, it has something to do with the methane gas. I have to look at it. Okay. I'll I have to look at it. We'll, we'll check it. Yeah. yeah, we'll check it. I think I said it. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So in addition to in, okay, in, in addition to the footage from the uh, opening of True Central yeah. and the people that have become awake, awake, woke since they've been right. coming, what other 
footage of we gonna be the we're gonna, we will be uh, we're gonna interview Gary. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, I mean, so so Gary personal interview interviews. Himself. Yeah, yeah. Try to come up with some questions for the people. Uh, three sets of questions, okay? The people that uh, that um, have been woke up since they've been coming here. A set of questions for them. Uh, a set of questions for me, and a set of questions for people that have been woke up and just support True Central. Hey, hey. Why why True Central is important to you? You know, stuff like that. Why why do you support this ministry? Um, because the country's going to tank and everybody's walking around like sheep. So, <laughs> personal interviews and that can include everybody, right? Personal they, interviews. We, I mean, we have, we have Bible study here. I mean, okay. in the end, what we try to do is show people what's really going on and bring them to the Lord. I mean, they're only hoping to know. Well, this is going to be a spiritual battle and start. Right. Amen. We're going to be seeing things like the Pope will be saying, why don't you do this? And it's going to be ironic and crazy. Pope might be in handcuffs in a couple of days. <laughs> well, no, the new pope. They got an arrest warrant for him. You know that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that. yeah. Did they? The common, the common law court. Yeah. Which yeah. court? Arrest warrant for the pope. He's been found guilty for um, touching little uh, kids. <laughs> yeah. Crimes against humanity. <laughs> Crimes against humanity and yeah, touching money laundering. Oh yeah, I have an arrest warrant for that. Maybe that's why he was reluctant. Oh, that'd be priceless to have him in handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that when he was an SS? Put that right above the sign out. Oh. <laughs> you know he was an SS. Hang him on a cross. Yeah. Hang him hey. on a cross. Is it a usury? Usury. Uh, usury. Uh, which one is that where they lend the money? Usury is actually against the Bible. Yeah. Forbidden in the Bible. Pending money. That's but, they, get, they get the Pope but, on that. You know, like anything else, things have evolved to be more evil friendly. Like usury is the exorbitant, exorbitant amount of interest charged on money. Like so they changed the meaning. You know, so they're using the new Bible For the now. The bankers. They got the new Bible now, the reverse standard edition. The reverse. <laughs> well, <laughs> you probably some standard perversion. You also have to think about the dictionary now. It's Baker friendly. But anyway, what other issues do you think we should uh, focus on? Sobbin? What about you, Jim? <coughs> no, I, I think it seems like we have a lot of... If we do personal interviews, footage from, from the opening, and then the personal interviews of those that were awoken, uh, we have to brainstorm is, you know, to get all this done now so we start looking for it. Is there any... Like, it's a good, uh, the same question. What else do we want to include in this video? Well, even even like the CYA to strategic relocation off the grid. Yeah. As far as here, you're you're exposing the problems. That what what do you do? What do you do? What's the answer to the problems? Well, that's why we meet up at the new moon. You know what I mean? Right. We're trying to uh, get some uh, plans to get off the grid. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm sorry. So we the have sticks. the personal interviews, mm -hmm. and then the personal presentations, but don't we want to include people like uh, Ron Paul, Sheriff Mack, uh, uh, maybe, maybe the Skousens? Is there, we, we can't use any of that video that no. footage. No, we can, we can, no, we can, Jim, we can pan through all the videos. We have videos on all of them. Yeah. And we can slowly pan through all the stuff that we give away. You know, the InfoWars magazines, all, uh, all Alex's videos, all the other documentaries. How about audio? Play. How about audio that they have at, that on YouTube? If they have any YouTube videos, YouTube channels of their own stuff. What do you mean? Like, you mean? some of these people will probably have their own YouTube channel or web page. Well, what we want to try to get across in this film is we educate people... Uh, that come in here about those people. Okay? We have videos on all that stuff. Okay. Okay? So how do we present that in the in the video? We, we pan, have videos. We pan through all the videos we have. Oh, there's one there's one uh, strategic relocation that okay. with Alex and uh, Joel Skousen. Okay? okay? That's about this. That, you know, we you know we go through we can take a couple of minutes and just go through the videos we have laying out, you know? I think we're going to have trouble putting it putting it all into two hours because we've got so much. Yeah, I actually well, think we're going to have trouble. That's why you need a good editor trying to trying to keep it down to two right. hours. Right. Well, yeah. that's why you need a good editor 
to piece it together for mm -hmm. me. You know, somebody that's good with film. That's why I want to get this Vito down here. He worked on the Batman film, and uh, I mean, he knows what he's doing. And he he's on board with the truth too. He he uh, went to Duquesne University to learn filmmaking, and they wouldn't give him his degree because he did his thesis on 9/11. Mm -hmm. And he stood on the ground and told him to shove his degree, shove their degree. I just want to reiterate that that yeah. just sounds so cool. You'll be going through all these videos. I mean, and yeah. you know, let them know we have this stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's powerful. Right. I mean, that is just yeah. yeah. That's exciting. I mean, and you know what? That that blank space we have under the collage out there, with the with the windows tinted, we can from the outside have something like learn the truth about, and then we can list everything: 9/11, the chemtrails, <coughs> fluoride, uh, Pro care. We can just list everything. But we got we need somebody that. that has the willingness to get the letters together to do that. Josh. Josh. You look like you're ready. I, uh, I, I why don't you, I might have stencils. Okay. Spray paint. That's what I could do. Spray paint? Spray paint uh, on, on some kind of posters. Can't we just get the letters? Can't we just buy the letters and stick them on there? Or get a couple uh, poster boards and, uh, and yeah, do the stencils on there. Yeah, Isn't that a lot of work going to the stencils? Yeah. yeah. We then it comes out sprayed, uh, over sprayed underneath and stuff, unless you. I, I guess. Yeah. Can we please put the two central sign? I don't know. Uh, yard know, sign. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We had it out. Anyway, no, I'm saying, three I'm saying, oh, the video. Oh, yeah, it'll be in the video. No, we. It was it was uh, so windy and rainy today, we didn't have it out front because it kept blowing down. It kept it, it blew out into the street. I don't want the police coming. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> so I I have to get it some um, hinges. I'm gonna take the hinges off the old sign and put it on. What's that? What What would you suggest if not spray paint? I don't know. A brush. Good at that. I mean, to spray the you window, mean, you to mean spray brush the stencils. You talking and about spray painting the window? Yeah. Well, what about what about just take a paintbrush and, and brush the stencils? That way you don't have overspray. You have to make a stencil of each one. You know, Obamacare. You know, the stencils are pretty. Right. That's going to be a lot of work. Unless you can like you got you buy that not, paint that goes on glass. It's like a watercolor almost. You know, it's like a potter. Yeah. You, it'll it'll you paint. You know. Like, what you do is, is you just, it's not, I, I don't really think it's that hard. You just get a stencil, you paint over it, leave that stencil there, put another stencil beside it so it's properly spaced, paint that, and then you can pick up the last one. You don't have to, like, tape the words together or anything. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go outside more down here and I'll show you, I'll show you roughly what I need and I'll, yeah. you do it however you, you think best. Uh, yeah. Do you have, like, a, something to put it on, like a... Or, uh, well, we can get something. Yeah. We can get something. What, Larry? Do you have something? Sarah wanted to say something. First. Sarah. Well, what I was Sarah Tony. Is, <laughs> is that for, for the contest, it also says you can make more than one video submission. If yeah. You, like made one more of this, uh, like a smaller video. Yeah. Like if you should have another chance to win, just because we have like more information. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Uh, we, yeah. We talked about that a little bit. Maybe maybe we could do that. One of the things that I see is that uh, rather than just telling all the problems, as Bill suggests, that we need solution. Right. And one of the greatest solutions is that that uh, to what they've been doing for some time is with the uh, with teaching us in our schools about uh, competition. They've been programming us oh, with yeah. competition, and that's been separating all of us. And that's how they're. Plans are able. They're able to work their plans is by having us all separated. They do not like unity, and so if I believe that that unity is what we need to overcome the separation that they've caused by the competition, and unity also would be going in the direction of Jesus Christ, which we're Amen. talking about that is the only solution. And then, so we need to put something in there about uh, uh, unity, bringing people into. Mm -hmm. Unity and away from the yeah. competition. Yeah. What I, I would really like to include in this video the question Is God blessing America? Mm. No. <laughs> no, no, that's the right. question. I want right. I want that there. Yeah. Let the people decide. We can ask all three groups, me, the all three groups. All right. 
uh, but, but have that in the question, question is, right. you know, yeah, make sure that question's in there. He did. Do you believe God, God is blessing America? <clears throat> I don't think so. America's lined up for judgment. I mean, he blessed Babylon in the past, Persia, Alexander the Great. They were all blessed, and they lost their blessings too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is look at you this. Know, the unique thing, like you it, turn from God, this is, there's always consequences. You know, it, it, America was uh, came into existence. Um, actually, so did Australia too, I believe, during the, the Pauline age. Uh -huh. After, in between the crucifixion and the rapture is when America was uh -huh. came into being, and I think Australia did too, uh, which means it could go the same way, and the rest of the world would just simply go on. Yeah. Um, and I, I said that before. We, we could wind up getting, you know, nuked and wiped out. Yeah. We can't worry about what's going to happen. We got to worry about what the God wants us to do today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's keep it simple and try to stay in His will just for today. Well, even and give tomorrow to Him. Even your right. preparedness right. as far as building bunkers and buying ammunition and guns and freeze dried food. And yeah. Whole other topics. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean the preparedness. So well, you know, we <clears throat> when I get interviewed, I'm going to go through what we do here every week. We have a Preparedness, prep, uh, preparedness survival meeting on Sunday nights. We have Bible studies two, three nights a week. We have dinner and a movie every Saturday night. Um, what else do we do? Uh, we have um, we have we have yeah we have meetings for the Constitution Party. We also have uh, road trips where we go up to the New Moon meeting, go to church on Sunday morning. We're starting out the sheriff meeting. Yeah, the, the sheriff. The sheriff oh, brigade. Really? Oh, the sheriff brigade. That's a good idea. Yeah. I would like to start going to. We're going to have the uh, uh, concealed carry. Concealed uh, carry class. Class here. I would like to go to all these uh, gun dealers around here and let them know that we're here. You know. Yeah. To support the Second Amendment. And, and give them DVDs, you know? Hey, I have to find... business card in their store? Yeah, I have to find time to do that. You try to promote nutrition. You try to go to the right. farm and get eggs, fresh right. eggs. Right. Yeah, we, we, we go up to... In the how about the... Time we go up to the organic farm and that, that's... What how about go up to Vitamin World, <clears throat> pass out nutrition videos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up in the Monroe be, uh, Mall. Be careful that we don't put... Like, say we go to buy raw milk or... You know, yeah, get rated. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> no, we don't divulge our, our, you know, their their Sources. location. You know that. Oh, right. That they'll be safe. You know, right. our contact. Yeah, well, they're very apprehensive now. But the the Amish are very apprehensive about selling raw milk to us folks now yeah. uh, because of what the FBI did last year. How much money, Gary? Yeah. How much money did the FBI spend on that investigation? Oh, millions. Yeah. Let's not get off track with that. So. So that's almost like spending all that money on the when Bill Clinton was getting interviewed, you know, right. for all uh, the sexual scandal. What kind of videos would you consider giving to gun shop? Well, the stuff we have on the Second Amendment. Sandy Hook, uh, probably. If they since betrayed, we have a bunch of stuff on the Second Second Amendment. It's all the Sandy Hook stuff, um, James Holmes conspiracy. We have tons of stuff. But uh, if somebody wants to come with me on that. I always like to. I hate to go by myself with this kind of information you know, because look, you always get looked at as like you're. Well, you look, a, I'm not. You, look but look if, uh, you go with somebody else, it gives you a little bit more credibility. You look less, <laughs> I go with you. Uh, two nuts. <laughs> you look less fringy. Yeah, yeah. 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 We need to go with two people. Yeah, right. If we do the, the, the low nut theory doesn't hold up. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we do it in the evenings. You got two weekends. nuts. <laughs> we do it in the evenings or weekends. The dull nut theory. We can start a new theory. I can go with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, specifically, as far as the, the, the personal interviews or the DVDs, do we have anything on Chuck Baldwin? He just has a great uh, sermon every Sunday, and he talks about the Second Ooh. Amendment. Uh, yeah. And, and, and what he did about uh, sell your rub and, and buy a sword. Oh, I know. He's done a lot of good stuff, uh, but again, we can't use other people's material. This we, is all original course, material. Okay. Like, if we went and interviewed Chuck Baldwin, we could use that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or get if Chuck we were Baldwin. on the scene and we interviewed him, we could use that. 
but we can't use something that somebody else produced. Mm -hmm. What I would like to... Uh, I would have it done already if we could use other people's it's stuff. So, <laughs> so important to me to include what I've learned from his sermon. Yeah. In that, uh, you know, like he says, you may you say, you may say you're, you're a Christian and, yeah. and you're, you're trying to follow the... Uh, we have them outside right thing. now. But, you know, people will perceive you as weak yeah. or, or weak. Yeah. But, you know, you know, you know what, uh, like somebody that pulls the gun out on you and thinks you, they're going to blow you away because you're Christian, you don't pack or something like that. Yeah. yeah. If he's, he's the wrong God, guy to blow, blow them away, <laughs> you say, he's you don't know God's law. Right. God said right. to sell your right. robe. Right, exactly. And, and buy a sword. He's in the video we have going out there now. Not God. No, no, no. no. God's <laughs> everywhere. God's, no. Chuck, Ball, Chuck Baldwin's playing outside in that one of the clips we have out there now. But uh, when you're questioned, you can bring up Chuck Baldwin naturally. You know. I'd like to put a point. You know what? He 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 woke me up on on a lot of issues. When I seen his survival list. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see that? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's another thing. I mean, I, I'm so glad he moved to Montana and I, walked away from the fight. I know everything's three. video, but you just recently sent a list of people that disappeared that were affiliated with Hillary. Yeah. Bill Clinton. Now yeah, that list so. would be something we could. I'd want to interject into into the uh, presentation. Yeah. But we can't I, I use any of the. We got to use original. Our own original intent. Well, I mean, when you're content. when you, when, you, when you we're interviewing, uh, like I'm interviewing Jim. So, what have you learned, like in the past six months? Okay. Well, I just got an email the other day from True Central about about the Clintons. See, you can you can always put that in there. So you know what I mean? Horrible. I mean, I try to keep people abreast on, and this my issue right now is this. I want everybody to take a look at this OPPT. Here we are. I'm telling you what. <clears throat> a year from now, everybody will know about it. Well, unless we're all in FEMA camps. Yeah. Well, we're, well, we'll we're going to have a lot of candy lot. bars. <laughs> right, Jim? What's that? We we're going to we're gonna have, have a lot of candy these bars. These people have no power. Michelle, no Obama candy bars? I they, haven't followed her. No. They have no authority. <laughs> they, the only thing they can do is use force, and they can't <laughs> use force on everyone. Did you ever see the video of the little dot by Larkin Rose? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Did you see it, right? The, the tiny dot? Oh, I'll have to show it. It's, a, yeah. it's only a couple minutes long, I'll show it. It's good. I think I'm a little bit more pessimistic than you guys. Oh, really? Yeah, year, like a couple years ago. You know? What's that? I'm a little bit more pessimistic about the whole thing than you guys. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. you know what? I My joy I'm is in the Lord, buddy. You know, if, if the building was burning right now, I'd, I'd have acceptance with <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not depressed though. Or it's just yeah, uh, yeah. So many times you, I just prefer like, I'm going out look, somewhere. Nobody escapes here. Anybody, you know? Nobody escapes here alive. And nobody gets out here alive. <laughs> so it's like, what did you do here? You know, that's what's that's what God wants to know. What did you? What are you doing? Growing and all, just a hope to wish I was Amen. Called. Amen. So what was it? Was it Sodom and Gomorrah that uh, he said you're going to bring me? Ten. Uh, ten righteous? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know why he's the ten? Yeah. Ten members of the family. family, yeah, right. <laughs> that's the only reason he's trying to make sure they get out of the right. Yeah. That's a hit for us, too, you yeah. know. Right. But doesn't that, that right, feel you know? like America now? You know. So, Gary, do you have any thoughts? How many thoughts? Yeah. Um, too many thoughts. Too many thoughts. Too many. Yeah. Too well, many certainly true. anything on sover sovereignty issues. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's what that OPPT... Yeah. And that will be something. I haven't heard Alex talk about it. I mean, I, have, I haven't heard very much about it at all. Because it's, I mean, they've been working on it for years, but now they got everything in place. They got all the forms online. I mean, what people have to realize is that the people have the power. Okay? Well, they, they have been foreclosed on. They have no, look, you're going you're gonna to let somebody shake you down that owes 16 trillion. <laughs> okay? That's what we're doing. We're, we're letting, we're, look, we have to quit funding our own oppression. We have to quit funding our own destruction. And that's what's going on. Yeah. People are so indoctrinated. They got people so dumbed down. 
with the TV and the fluoride and the food. The Steeler games? They can't think for themselves. They, you know, they sit in front of and, and drink the Fox News CNN Kool-Aid every night, you know? Sorry, Jim. And they're chugging it. You know, at the height of, the height of communism in Russia, the people knew they were being lied to. They knew. They knew it was all propaganda. Over here, they don't even know. Well, you're some they kind just, of... They just drink the Kool-Aid. Can I have another? You have any grape? Extra sugar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the whole thing, the Roman Empire is the same way toward the end. Sure. Yeah. They said the, the, the barbarians were at the gates, and they were going to the arena. Right. They were watching the games in the arena. Right. More concerned about the chariot races and how much they're going to win or lose than they were. It's true. And you look at that agenda, the 45 goal, goals of communism. You know, they it's break. All, they break down society. You know, Morally, yeah. you know, the, the gay agenda is in yeah. there for a reason. You know, they're, well, they're, they're just the using those people. They're in the schools telling kids two mommies is okay, two daddies is okay. Yeah, well, how about turning in your mom and dad for leaving the water? Oh, right. On. Yeah. You see something, say something. Yeah. You, you uh, know, traditionally, smart meters, um, agenda 21 stuff. Governments have a very brutal history. You know, during the Roman Empire from uh, 753 AD to uh, roughly 410 AD with, uh -huh. with Emperor Constantine. Because he's the one that passed the, the edict of uh, tolerance of Christianity. Mm -hmm. But from 753 AD, almost from its inception, well, actually, it, it picked up at, at, at the time of Christ. Mm -hmm. um, high, high estimate, 10 million Christians were brutally slaughtered. You know, with Cliglia. Because yeah. when Paul was, Paul's ministry Cliglia. started with Cliglia, Nero, right. Tiberius, three of the worst mm -hmm. monsters mm -hmm. were in office. And they say from that point on, clean up 400 Sorry. years, 410 A.D. They, they, some say 10 million, some say a low estimate is 3, 3 yeah. million Christians. Yeah, you'll never know. But it was mm -hmm. empire-wide. Yeah. They were hunted down. I mean, you, every imaginable torture you can think of was inflicted right. on Christians. Yeah. I love what the Catholic Church did. They killed millions. Oh, 73. 73 million. How about when, uh, when uh, King Henry died, then his daughter took over? You know how many Christians... She murdered yeah. uh, Protestants, including priests. I mean, I mean, if, if government does so do often. anything, it appears that there's, there's not. Uh, it, it just always seems to come out the way because of the exclusivity of Christianity. That's the yeah. first ones they go after. Yeah. They're not going to go well, after criminals or people right. out in the street or the typical day-to-day jamoke who to work making money. They're going to go after the ideology that's directly anti-government. That's us. And they, you know, they've got these central banks all over the world now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Rothschild was in England, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's Don't their main weapon. Warburg was in Arizona during World War II. In Arizona. He spent World War II. You know, he, he made loans to the <coughs> to Germany, and he spent World War II in Arizona. Flagstaff, Arizona. Mm -hmm. When his fellow Jews were getting sent to the gas chambers, he was... Oh, yeah. He sat out in the Arizona... Nothing surprises me today. Mm. Yeah. So the other thing I think we really got to hit on is nullification. I think oh, that's a that's very a big powerful issue. weapon. Jury, jury that's a good one. Write that down. Uh, well, uh, state. You know what? We need to. We need to have somebody down there. They're going to be. We well, have that sheriff on power. That's what he's all mm. about. Nullification is the rightful right. You know, remedy. the sheriff is the most powerful man. Oh yeah. That's what Sheriff Arpello, Sheriff Mac. They know their authority. Right. Like, and the president. The sheriff. federal government has no authority over, no. over a county sheriff. Sheriff Arpello, it was veiled. But he dared Jesse Jackson and Al Sharper to, to combine yeah. or look at his, uh, his jails. He says, well, if they want to, they can try. I met him, <laughs> I, I met him out in Philadelphia at the Nullification Now conference. Remember Sheriff Mack was out there? Uh, you were with uh, me. Uh, in Philadelphia, yeah. Okay, you got me off that. I was thinking of... Uh, what did the Jackson and... Uh, Jesse Jackson wanted to come to. They, they, yeah, they were talking about. Talk, yeah, they were saying there's disparate uh, justice in Arizona. You mm -hmm. can yeah. hear of uh, Arpello. And uh, Arpello was on CNN or something, and he says, uh, well, they can come to honor or they want to try. Tell them to set up an appointment. See, because yeah. he knows they don't have no authority. Right. When, he's, when, when uh, Toyota let Jesse Jackson in there with his committee to look around for discrimination. Yeah. They could have. They should have told him go pound salt up here around your ass for all. You know, get lost. He didn't have no Praise thing. God that there's a lot of county sheriffs stepping up to the plate. Now that, uh, that last Who's line. the black the guy? The black sheriff from uh, Wisconsin. They definitely don't want him out there. Alex had him on the show. I think, uh, I think uh, I think uh, I think before. 
But, uh, Isn't he the one that encouraged uh, citizens to go buy your own gun and yeah, learn yeah. how to uh, use it? Oh, he's the black guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Uh, Clark, I think. Well, well, Nate, Nate Harper, Harper in Pittsburgh was going around to these different uh, groups. I think he went to one high school. Mm -hmm. My buddy was there. Oh, he, he, he tore him a new one. Uh, promoting gun control. So, uh, Patrick is a friend of mine. He goes to the church we go to. Uh, he said to him, Mr. Harper, or the uh, chief, Chief Harper, he says, uh, Harper's in a lot of trouble now, by the way, you know, with a big scandal with yeah. the FBI. He said, how long does it take for the police to get to Haas? He said, anywhere from five to seven minutes on a local call. Mm -hmm. And Patrick said, well, in the time of five to seven minutes, somebody coming at my house can uh, you oh, know, rape yeah. my sister, sure. kill me, rob the place, right. and be out of here by the time you get there. Okay. He said, within three to five seconds, I can stop a criminal right. with a pistol. Right. And you'll never hear that on the mainstream media. Oh, See, no. what people don't realize is the police, the police officer, they his, his, duty, his duty is not to protect anyone from any crime. No, they, no. they come uh, and investigate crimes it. that are over. Investigate. They very rarely stop any crimes from happening. The camp. Very, it's it's not their job. If they have I mean, it. they will if they're in the area, if they feel like it. They don't have to. They do not have to. They can drive past a murder. I didn't realize that. And it's not their duty to stop that. And you know what? When the class How much did you get? I'm sorry, you are going to get uh, be on your own. Yeah, they're going to be trying to protect you. You must have hit the button. And when they have that to protect and serve on the side yeah. of the car, mm -hmm. that's not to protect and serve the people. Mm -hmm. That's to protect and serve the corporation. Just, right. Be not to How see. much did you get? Yeah, if you get, if they had five 911 calls at the same time, uh, they're going to go to those that have the, the money. <coughs> they're not going to come right. to you. Sorry, you Jerry. wait until all three of you I Out in L.A., They've, you, you they've removed but, you a bunch of uh, uh, I don't know. report. Uh, you know, if you report a burglar or something, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. They don't even respond to the, well, half of these things now. Unless somebody's getting blown away in the street. <laughs> if there's a sniper or something, they might, they might go out. But you're on your own. But they'll, they'll tell you flat out, well, we had a lot of calls. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that justifies See, they can't you be, not being they protected. They can't be held accountable to protect mm -hmm. and serve anyone. Because if they don't do it, well, you know, I, I got, you know, my wife got killed. The, the police, it took them 10 minutes to get here, and, you know, the, the guy was in and he, so I could sue them. There would be so many lawsuits, it would be ridiculous. So they can't, they can't be, uh, it can't be their job to protect and serve anyone for any reason. That's because, one of the reasons. Because they, they get sued. You know, really, there was 11 cases in the Supreme Court where people tried to sue them and they lost because it, it's not the police officer's job. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I bring... Very few people know that. Can I bring one thing up? I got... A All right, just one, Mike? Yeah. Okay. I got a petition to support uh, House, PA House Bill 357. A partition or a partition? A partition. How do you spell to, it? Yeah, well, to notify to not, to not the uh, yeah, to notify the 23 on lawful executive orders that Obama and Biden supported, okay. and, and 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 here in the state of Pennsylvania, if this bill goes forth and Corbett signs it, it will be considered tr an act of treason if any federal agent or any form of law enforcement or a person. I signed it. Yeah, I know you signed it. Well. I got the right. petition yeah. with we me. Got petition. We, we, that's another thing we do here is we, we hang drywall. <laughs> we hang drywall. <laughs> we hang drywall. <laughs> <laughs> the, the petitions to nullify <laughs> yeah. the uh, the un, the unlawful uh, 23 executive orders that Barack Obama signed. It's to uh, here in the state of Pennsylvania. If any federal agents, law enforcement of any level, or a person or people come to take your arms away from you. They could be arrested and held for treason right. for uh, violating the Second Amendment and articles out of the uh, Pennsylvania State Constitution on the right to bear arms. My arms ain't going Who's going to arrest them? The, the people. I mean, the, the police. If this goes into, goes into effect, the police would have every right to arrest. The sheriffs, the, the law enforcement agencies, here in the state of Pennsylvania. They're not, they're not upholding the, their oath of office if they don't. <clears throat> they could be held accountable as well if they don't. But, you know, let's just try to do what we can, you know. We 
you can't uh, save the world. We'd be lucky to save ourselves. Is there any other points that we want to include, issues that we want to include in the video? Uh, we're here. We're here every day. We're here every day. We got we got of operation. We got the uh, big screen TV going 24 seven. The truth but never the sleeps. Truth never sleeps. Right. That's our motto at True Central now. The truth never sleeps. So I mean, when people, I have my number out there on the door, and I'm three minutes away. It takes me three minutes from my door to get to here. If there's traffic. Yeah, if there's traffic. So I mean, if somebody comes and they need a video or something, I can bring it right. I bring it right up. But um, yeah, we we want to be. Um, one thing I wanted to I'm talk sorry, about. The truth never sleeps at true sleep. <coughs> the truth never yeah. sleeps at true sleep. Right? Like One thing I wanted to talk about was um, I'd like people to get more involved in uh, passing out videos, you know, and and telling them about true Central. You know, I mean, we've been getting a lot of people coming on Saturday nights, and a lot more. We had a lot of people in here yesterday afternoon, but um, I got to start doing more taping. Yeah, the more. Uh, <laughs> The more we get our word out there, because uh, you know, I don't know how long this ministry is going to go <clears throat> go forth because of the financial shape we're in. But um, maybe if we win this contest, we can stay open. <laughs> we have to win this contest to stay open. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I tried to stop doing this for a while, about a year ago, and I, I had no peace. I, I couldn't sleep. So. I know God has called me to do this, so if I go broke on it, so be it, whatever. But, um, yeah, I've been selling all my silver just to keep the doors open. Even the clock on the wall. <laughs> Everything's for sale. That black, that black uh, chair, don't get too comfortable, Isaac. That's, that got sold today. It's more than one. Walk, walk, walk. Well, he said, are you allowed to use this as a money-making enterprise in any way? Well, we don't sell anything, but we, exactly. we do ask for donations. And we get some along those lines, like, you know, the flea market well, or during the summer or yeah, something. They come to this thing will be here to shake us down immediately, you know, because they, hey, they don't like us being here anyway. I want to add another thing. We do have a Facebook <laughs> pro public profile, a True Central. Yeah. Uh, if, anyone, they could, if anyone has a Facebook, just our web page needs up. Yeah. yeah we, oh, we Click like on it. On yeah, we some help. Kim was supposed to help us with that. Kim was supposed you to found somebody who knows web design? Kim knows. She's a webmaster. Well, I mean, Kim was, she was the, the yeah, dog? Yeah, Kim with Max. Oh, okay. She want to do it? I didn't know that. We're going to have Max with a... Yeah, have to do it. Oh. Max the dog. He's our, he's our uh, he's mascot a, now. He's the Kim. central mascot. Kim's dog, Max. We're going to get him a... Um, Tin foil hat. <laughs> <laughs> Three I, th points. I thought he was the Constitution Party of Valley. We were going to interview now. Max. I thought he was a sheriff for game. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> what, else, what, what, what else we got? What else we got? Derek. Well, no, my question is uh, we have all this footage that some of us have looked at. Yeah. When are you going to get time or make time to look through the, the stuff the, that we've the, sent you? Yeah. Get moved. I mean, well, I'm not trying to pressure you. Oh, no, I mean, we're talking a lot about doing this stuff. But I've had so much going on. Is there another way to do it? Like, uh, like have people do it as a group with you? Or, yeah. Uh, we'll I thought maybe, to start maybe Saturday night groups. after the movie we could do it, though, you know, as a group. I would rather get everybody's uh, input, you know what I mean? What do people think about that? Yeah. I have an idea. No, uh, tell us. Brain for it, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Too many partitions. Yeah. <laughs> Too much drywall dust. Also pastures. What's that? You, what's you're gonna, you want to be put out the pasture? Did a coyote scare you? I mean, at least get the good stuff. I'm just yeah, joking. Is, is yeah. audible and uh, right. visual. Maybe I can get him up here Saturday night. We can I mean, go through. We can go through. A Adam Freshman. Just eclipse it. Pull out. You know what I mean? How about Adam Fishman? Yeah. Yeah. I call him. I got him on my. Didn't list. he do? Uh, he did uh, Molina's. On, uh, the Pentagon. Didn't he do uh, Molina's video? And uh, Frank, when they were doing the G20 and they were yeah, taping well, it, didn't he merge it? Adam, yeah. You know Adam Fishman, don't you? Ain't 
seen him for a while. He, he hasn't him out here. He has he ever been here before? Yes, he has. Uh, Adam's been here, yeah. Okay. He Adam's spoke here. Yeah, he spoke here for a grand opening. Hello. Yeah, I saw him on the list. This is Gary. It's a police. Hey, Gary. 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 Okay. Do I have to pry this Bible out of my... Uh, 